Reef Teats is sponsored by Brightwell Aquatics and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to check out the Aquarium Munster Underwater Pressure Pack. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. So BRS sent me this glue to kind of check it out and give some feedback on it and I'm actually really excited to try it because this is a really kind of unique thing for at least in the aquarium industry that how many times have you tried to glue corals underwater and your bottle or your tube of cyanoacrylate that you're using under there and it works all great and fine and dandy. Next time you grab it, try to use it. It's all clogged up, it's crusted over, it's basically garbage. Now if any moisture gets in contact with the glue, it activates it and it's just gonna seal off the intake and you're buggered. So the cool thing with this is it is pressurized, which means it's always forcing the glue out, which means there's no chance for water to get back sucked into it, like if you're using a bottle or something where you let the pressure off that little bit underwater, that's all it takes. So pretty cool. Um, now this actually claims it's rated for industrial use as well. It says you can use it, you know, extreme climates where it's really hot or cold or damp environments, obviously underwater is another big one. Now today I'm gonna actually use this to mount a few corals that keep falling over. I have an orange setosa and a branching cyphastria that fall onto my hammers almost weekly. And I've glued it with super glue a bazillion times, it keeps falling. So we're gonna use this to kind of test it. I'm hoping this will do the trick. Now, another really cool thing about this is it can actually seal up a leak in a tank even. So if you sprung a leak underwater, you could use this to glue it and fix it and kind of patch it up. So super duper cool, it's gonna buy you that time to get a new replacement tank. And so it's really good for actually multiple uses. This one's actually a super awkward space to get to because I kind of have to span across the stairs to get to it. But I think that's part of one of the prime reasons that this will be a great way to get in here and try this out. So to start, we're gonna get the Cyphastria, find a nice spot to kind of tuck it back in. And get the branching Cyphastria tucked in there. I'm gonna turn this to the minimum setting on it. All right, and I'm gonna start by poking it into some of these cracks around the Satosa and let it kind of adhere them in place. Oh, interesting. This almost looks like a black silicone type of glue. Be a little interesting to see how it, if it affects the coral right beside it and kind of how well this actually sticks in place. Now one cool thing is it does claim that it is perfectly safe for plants and animals so there should be no toxins or anything else to worry about in it so it should be completely aquarium safe. So I put a little dab on the top I probably should put the dab behind it but it's a little hard to film and do this with one hand. Now it's an added test let's try mounting a coral with it. A nice little gob on there. The trigger actually really is a nice touch. Now it did seem to stay in place pretty well once I poked it in, so that helped. Now that is one I tried gluing with super glue before and it fell off. A couple of the tips were burnt from falling into the gani below it, so we'll see how this one holds. Now if we do a little squirt, just clear out the nozzle and take a quick look at it, it almost actually does look more like a black silicone more than like a glue. So it very well could be more of a pressurized silicone, but it's actually a pretty cool product. Now my initial thoughts is it's more of a silicone than a glue, but if you're sticking stuff together, that's basically what glue's doing, so it's another form of glue, so we'll go with that. Um, so it does feel like a kind of a black silicone, at least as a base, I'm sure there's other additives and stuff in it. Yeah, I'm super easy to use. I put it underwater, push the button, squirts out, so really not much to it. It's nice to have that trigger so you can kind of pinpoint where you want it, push the button, and let it come out. I did use my finger and just kind of smooth out a few of the edges where the silicone glue substance was around the coral. I didn't even use that much of it, so I am really curious to see how it bonds to the coral and the rock and if it holds long term. I know the three times I've tried using, you know, regular super glue cyanide on it, it didn't hold, so I'm really hoping this one does. Now, super cool thing is if a tank ever sprung a leak, you could use this to fix it. Underwater, just little bits up the seam and you're done. So really cool. So that alone is makes me happy to have this on hand. It is kind of like save you in a disaster. And if you can aquascape with it and mount corals, that is another huge bonus. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, new product, I'm so far, I guess time's gonna tell on it, but so far I think it's pretty cool. 
and I'll guess I'll let you guys know in about a month or so and see how it's holding up my couple little dabs in the tank and see if it's holding the corals in place. And by then I'm sure I'll find some more uses for it. So hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to check out some for yourself, I'll throw a link in the description below. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next update.